craziest experience at the airport. I couldn't find my baggage. So I and I'm not kidding. Mom was screaming the whole trip. This was maybe the end of <laughs> our lives. with me and I had to check all of my belongings and I had to have a full body scan and it went off twice two alarms in my bag and they had to do another scanning because maybe it was wrong with the first scanner they had so they had to swipe in my bag once again and they had to use another scanner but still the alarm was going off I was taken to a room uh, for an interview and they had to ask me questions like what are your plans with traveling uh, how long are you staying what are your work situation uh, who drove you to the airport who is picking you up and 
so on and I had to explain myself and even after the interview I had to to call after the manager of security and he had to ask me some extra questions and then um, they had to check all of my belongings once again and they had to contact my airplane and they had to get my pass and boarding pass they said it might be a hand cream or body lotion maybe I use but I can't after one hour they decided that I can continue my traveling but they still don't know what caused the alarm in my bag and I have no idea so now I am Oslo and I'm going to take another flight for Spain so I have to go to the security once again so let's hope uh, Let's cross my fingers that this time it will not cause any problems but I will keep you updated and let's see if I will get to Spain or I have to stay in Norway okay follow along couldn't find my baggage stressed and I looked everywhere and ask if they had seen my um, baggage and they haven't rest because I had to check out and I'm now I'm checking in again for another flight and it was a 40 minutes flight from one place in Norway to another place in Norway with a directly flight They asked me which flight I was sitting on and I was on the wrong place and when I finally arrived the right place my baggage was laying all alone and waiting for me so that was another story it's six hours before I arrive in Spain, so this can be a very funny trip. So let's see. Okay, now I'm waiting for my mom, she is coming, and then we are checking in together, and then we are going to Spain for spring. Spring break, Easter break, Easter. Easter. <laughs>
finally arrived to this villa with four levels and roof terrace and a big big house slash villa I'm not sure but the ride from the airport to this place was hilarious it was a ride for 45 minutes I'm not kidding my mom was screaming the whole trip she was so scared because the driver was driving not fast it was driving the way it, he should <laughs> I asked if she wanted to sit in the front instead because we both were sitting behind the driver but she wanted to sit where she was sitting and the driver was I don't know he was at first a bit shocked when she was screaming but then she, he just ignored it and after 30 minutes I actually start to be a bit worried too because it seems like the driver was almost fall asleep several times so I said to my mom okay okay I think maybe we should be a bit worried so it seems like he is almost falling asleep or something so I said to my mom please please uh, start a conversation with him well, he was like I don't know he was like with his head but now my mom is telling me that maybe he might have this... Um, what's, what is it called? Sankteveitstans. Okay, I don't know if that's the English term or Norwegian. But it was so scary and still so funny at the beginning because I thought that my mom was crazy but then I actually started to be worried too and it was so dark and he had never been to this place before and actually he was driving way faster than the limit in the beginning he was following the limit but I think and that's why I thought he was tired because he started to drive faster and faster and faster and I thought maybe he was so tired that he wanted to go asleep as uh, fast as possible and when we finally arrived to our place he just I saw the numbers of how much it cost this ride but then he suddenly s said a much higher number and his number was instead that we made it and we are still alive my mom thought this was maybe the end of <laughs> our lives but we made it and now we are here and let's hope the rest of the trip will go smoothless okay see you and follow along on this journey in Spain <laughs>